On the slate for today's Philadelphia Eagles, now Quez Watkins, thanks to the new NFL Collective Bargaining Agreement, is going to get a little bit of a pay bump here in 2023. And we have some exciting news about the Eagles' plans for DeAndre Swift. Is he about to have a career year? And is he about to break out thanks to the Eagles using him a lot throughout the aerial attack? First, though, if you want to interact with me on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you hit me up. I'm also on Threads, which is the new movement now. I like to be a leader, not a follower, but a lot of people are going over there. And let, if, uh, if Twitter, I guess, blows up because Elon Musk is doing some weird things on the Twitterverse. So interact with me on these social media platforms. It's at Chase underscore senior everywhere. Don't be a stranger. Slide in the DMs. Say what's up. I look forward to interacting with all of you. So let's begin here with Quez Watkins. This is what we know that Quez Watkins is entering the final year of his rookie deal. And it's a big season for him. If he plays well, he's going to get paid because he's that home run threat who can get vertical with that high end speed to take the top off of the defense. If he doesn't play well, he'll probably be on a fringe roster elsewhere in 2024. Thanks to an NFL collective bargaining agreement performance escalator, though, Quez Watkins is going to get a pay increase here this upcoming season. And the increase is going to go from a million dollars, which isn't a lot after taxes, considering how much these athletes pay and invest into training, dieting, lifestyle, all that stuff. So $1 million to $2.7 million, this information, thanks to over the cap. And here's the breakdown here. The NFL's collective bargaining agreement ensures proven performance escalators for players drafted between rounds three and seven and signed to the typical four-year rookie contracts. If those players can log snap counts of 35% or better, in at least two of their first three seasons in the NFL or play 35% or more of total snaps during those three years, they qualify for an increased base salary in their fourth year. Watkins is the only player to earn the increase according to over the cap after he logged a snap count of 10.5% of the snaps as a rookie, almost 69% in year two, and almost 58% in 2022 giving the pass catcher a 45.7% average for his career. Players eligible for the PPE will see their fourth-year base salary escalate to the season's lowest restricted free agent RFA tender. So for Quez, look, going into this year, you play well, you'll get a nice little bag because a lot of teams across the NFL are always in search of a wide receiver who can be elusive in the open field and be that guy who safeties have to account for on every single snap as a guy who can get past them if you hit them with that long ball. And in Quetz's first three years, we've certainly seen some of the ability. I think with him, a lot of it comes down to consistency. With Quez Watkins, as a rookie, seven catches, 106 yards and a touchdown. In year two, 43 catches, 647 yards and a touchdown. And then this past year, the worst production outside of his rookie year, obviously, and a dip in production from year two. Now, a lot of you might say, well, the Eagles traded for A.J. Brown. They had Dallas Goddard, Devontae Smith. You're expecting them to have more catches to take some of that usage away from Quez Watkins. Yes, but we can all agree that Quez Watkins was very disappointing in year three. And when the Eagles tried to implement him into the game plan, I thought the Eagles offense actually got clunky and struggled a lot, and Quez was dropping a lot of easy footballs as well, including that big catch in the Super Bowl that he could have made, and he dropped, which could have overturned the game and changed the momentum, leading to another Eagles score. So what will Quez do in 2023? Will he rise? Will he fold? Let me know. R or F. Get those into the comment section right now. How about this deal? Thanks to our friends at Fanatics, this Philadelphia Eagles retro polo, was $70. It is now just $35. All you have to do is use that link down below. Chatsports.com slash Eagles Polo. I don't know. This would look pretty fre fresh during a watch party, especially when you remember that the Eagles are going to be bringing back the Kelly Green jerseys this year. Let's round out the show with this. The Philadelphia Eagles plans for DeAndre Swift. Philadelphia believes there is untapped potential with DeAndre Swift. 
Heading into 2023, I think DeAndre Swift is going to have a monster season, and I think the Philadelphia Eagles can unlock him so that he has a career year going into a contract year. He has so much ability, as evidenced by the numbers that he's put up in his first three years. Last year, he led all running backs in yards per touch, and he's a home run threat every time he touches the football. And this note from James Palmer of the NFL Network is pretty interesting. He's reporting that Philadelphia will utilize DeAndre Swift's receiving skill set even more than what the Detroit Lions did with him to start his career. And Swift is a very good dual threat back who is a better receiver than Miles Sanders. So I actually think the Eagles can upgrade at running back from the versatility, the production given him and the Eagles offensive line, but he's also a better pass catcher than Miles Sanders. First three years in the NFL, he's been used a lot as a receiving threat. 46 catches, 357 yards, and two touchdowns as a rookie. In his sophomore campaign, he reeled in 62 grabs for 452 yards and two touchdowns. And this past year, 48 catches for 389 yards and three touchdowns. So he can be a walking 1,000 combined all-purpose yards back and that's without him being utilized all that much by Detroit. If you use him a lot this year, knowing that you might run him into the ground during a contract year, is he in play for 1,500 to 2,000 all-purpose yards in this offense when he's also going to be in the backfield with Jalen Hurts? And that one-two punch and running the football could be very difficult to defend. I am so excited to see what Swift can do with the birds here in 2023. And I think that when you watch him, like Miles Sanders is capable of, of catching the ball out of the backfield. He's also going to be making $6 million. That is a lot more than the fraction of the price that Swift is going to be making. It just comes easier for Swift in catching the ball out of the backfield. Swing routes, bubble screens, him maybe lining up in the slot is something that I'd like to see. Wheel routes, one of the most underrated plays in football, I believe, because you get a very fast player out on the perimeter where sometimes he's getting guarded by slower linebackers. So I think Swift is a player to look out for here this season and could be one of the more underrated pickups throughout this offseason because of what you're paying him, because of what you gave up to get him, and how good this Eagles team is in utilizing the running backs as dual threat guys. So who's better? Some of you might not be familiar with Swift, even though he did go to St. Joe's Prep and is a Philly guy. His recruiting announcement video, by the way, when he recruited the Georgia Awesome, it was to Meek Mill. He was running throughout the streets of Philly. Go back and watch it. I think Bleacher Report put that together when Bleacher Report was actually good. MS for Miles Sanders, DS for DeAndre Swift. And as you venture down there, make sure you subscribe to the show because if you love the Eagles, we are the channel for you. Hit that sub button for year-round coverage of the Philadelphia Eagles.